break down the rocks. I think that's what he planned on doing, like right from the beginning. What do you guys think? That's that's definitely for sure, and I agree with Rap Tram in the chat. Never underestimate Unique. That was awesome. <laughs> And it is and, a best of three series, guys. If you look in the in the score, uh, you know, in the scoreboard, we do have BO3 up there, and that is, uh, you know, the best. That is that is what this round or the series is. We got the invite to the next game. This is going to be the last game of the finals of the EU Craft Cup Light number 36. Oh yeah, let's see what's going to happen here on Shakira's Plateau, as picked by Rocks Kiss Palmy. So let's see. Are they, what do you guys think? Are they going to spawn closest, or are they going to spawn farthest away from each other? Well, that's all based on luck. Of course. I mean, what do you? I mean, what do you guys think? Well, I don't. I don't know. I, I hope they do. get cross positions. Yeah, I so really do, do I. Well, yeah. You know what? I hope they do too. That's what I'm hoping for. So it'll be interesting to see how quickly uh, Zerg goes for a third base. That's right. And the countdown has begun. We're ready to get into this. And this is going to be the last game of the finals of the Craft Cup. Here we go. All right, everybody, welcome to Imba TV, where everything is imbalanced. We got observer lag in the game as these two players decide to quit the game. We're going to go into another sequence. <laughs> And they were in the closest, weren't they? They sure yeah. were. Yep. Let's see what happens. I don't know why. Uh, why the that, why that exactly happened? We'll see. So, what do you think of that strategy you just showed in the game? You know, making those six drones mine. I think it's, oh, you know, dude, it's pretty aggressive. Such a great strategy, oh, yeah. and I love it what when I see that happen in these games. It just makes me so excited to to know that StarCraft Two is here. You know, it was the mo most amazing split I've ever seen. Let's see. Great. Let's see what GSL the, worthy. Yeah, GSL I'm worthy sure for sure. Got, I'm sure he got a five mineral advantage because of that. He probably would have used that to win the game. Yep. But anyway, Shakira's plateau. Maybe we'll see cross positions this time. I'm not sure why the reset happened, but I guess it was a Bnet issue. Here we go. Countdown has begun. We're getting ready to do this one more time. All right, everybody, welcome to Emma TV, where everything is imbalanced. We've got Rocks Kiss, Palmy facing off versus Unique, and it's going to be cross positions as they are tied up right now, one to one. This is a best of three series of the finals of the EU Craft Cup Light number 36. It is a mouthful, but it needs to be said, and why don't you go ahead and take it away, Jim? All right. So this is the deciding game. This is what Craft Cup Light 36 is going to boil down to after over 800 games played. In any event, or I'm sorry, over 500 games played. In any event, Rocks Kiss Palmy elects to build a pylon or warp in a pylon in his natural expansion area and immediately decides to scout with that probe. On the other hand, Unique is just droning up and doesn't really have a major decision to make until he hits about 14 drones. Pommy is chrono boosting in probes and Pommy has scouted that that unique is not in the top right hand corner of the map and so now Pommy knows where unique is located and unique is going to start with an extractor Palmy's next building should be a gateway, but let's see. Palmy has I think Palmy might go for a fast expand. You think so, eh? That's what it looks like to Could me, be. too, yeah. I, yeah. He's now spotted the Zerg base. Don't know. Forge. It's going to be a forge. And that, that just uh, clues towards his... Uh, he's going to use cannons to try to uh, wall off and, and protect himself from lings early in the game when he lays down his expansion. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's very small choke. Cannons can do a lot of damage while they try and get up there. That's so it's right. very safe. And now that this drone knows all about the forge, you know, he'll be more inclined not to rush. 
And let's see if the drone does no. The drone decides not to go in. Like Palmy does not take, or sorry, Unique does not take the drone right into the Protoss base. That was a fascinating choice because it's going to be a while before Unique can get anything in that base for scouting purposes. So that's, or maybe Unique has seen all he needs to see. One thing's for sure, Palmy wants to stop Unique from expanding. Will Palmy, and we're going to see the old pylon. That's right. Going down. Just like we saw in the past couple games here. Yep. And Unique has about halfway completed with Zergling Speed Research. A gateway is placed down in the ramp to Palmy's natural expansion. And that Nexus and is just about finished. So, you know... That rocks because Pom is actually going to take his ex er, is going to actually have his expansion to mine off of efficiently, without you know before Zerg can even get his up. So true. Some early and speeding aggression though could really break that. You think so? I don't well, know, if I he stayed on one base, he could have done some damage. I bet. I think I could. I I don't know. I think one or two zealots plus the cannon would make it awfully tough. In any event, we're not really going to know. Palmy is at 22 probes. Unique's at 20 drones. And let's see how these guys decide to fight it out at this point. The speed, Zergling speed is completed, though. Hey, man, can you talk into your mic a little more? Yeah, no problem. Thanks. And, uh, dr you know, just droning up and getting ready for things. Uh, we see a second assimilator going down right now on Pommy's main base, as well as a full wall off here with a pylon in the way. Yeah. We're going to see uh, maybe some Stargate action here. Be interesting to see what happens. Oh, and by the way, there's also a pylon right here. That's right. And a third expansion going down by Unique. Interesting so this, moves here so far. This, that's a fascinating choice of pylons. Is he going to warp units in here in the low ground and run them here, take out the rocks and go into the Zerg base? There's a lot of options available with this forward pylon. Uh, a Zergling is going to spot the full wall. And test the grounds a little bit, yeah. yeah but we've got two cannons now behind the full wall. Uh, if anything, I bet you the rocks are a better place to go through than that wall. That's right. Nope. And look at all these gateways. gateways. Holy crap. Six gateways being thrown down right now. So we're going to have a six, you know. Wow, that's crazy. What a choice. We'll see how that develops. Now, Lair Tech is being researched on the hatchery in Unique's main base along with a Roach Warren. And as you've noted, a third base. So the placement of this pylon is really not going to harm Unique early in the game, that's for sure. Warp Tech finishing up now, so he's going to have six warp gates out and of the play. This. And it look did get seen by Unique's Overlord. <laughs> and the loss of this Overlord won't be too tragic for Unique. Probably a hundred minerals well spent. And look at this, he's warping units in the low ground and he's going to go after these rocks. That's right, and uh, Roach Speed is now being researched as well as five roaches on their way out and are out actually right now. Yes. And, wow, and there's two, four, and of course these six warp gates doing us a great job. And the warp gates are all, they all have Chrono Boost activated on them. So he is going to even uh, he's going to warp in six more units very quickly. Here they come. One, no, just one. Here we go. Look at this army. Ten stalkers. That's right. This is a big push here by Protoss. We're going to see if uh, we're going to see if Unique's got what it takes to hold this off. He doesn't even know about it yet. Unique doesn't have an army. That's he's right. got eight roaches and four zerglings. And and he's they're out of position so bad. And here comes the first zealot to, to charge up that ramp. And here we go. This doesn't look good for Unique. As his Hydralis Den just finishes up, Roach is coming in. Let's see if he's going to be able to defend against this. That third expansion could have really hurt him in this with this push. Guardian Shield goes down. 
And those sentries... Too many stalkers. Yeah. Too many stalkers. That's Let's right. Do and these roaches are going to have to scurry away. And, and look, more on the way. More stalkers on the way. And these overlords... Zerg's down to five roaches and three zerglings. I don't know how those units will stop this massive force of, of uh... And especially with the ability to be able to warp them in so close to his base. And there's more coming. Now it's Zealous. And it looks like he's just going to gather ro roaches and lings down at down here. Let's see if he's going to go in for it and try to uh, try to be able to actually, you know, oh, yeah. defend. 11, 11 roaches versus 18 stalkers. Let's see what so happens. Transfusion going down with the queens. I don't know, man. I don't know. More stalkers coming in. And Bly is sitting in. A, I mean, I mean, sorry, Pommy is sitting in a great position. Absolutely, this lair is down to about half health. And, and now here come thirteen roaches. Let's see what they can do to these stalkers. Oh man! Oh God! Oh man! And the King of the Hill inv invitee may take away Craft Cup Light 36. That's right. And let's see what uh, Unique's going to be able to do here. Oh, no, Unique, doesn't, Unique doesn't have an army. Unique's got one Roach, two Zerglings. That's going to be it, folks. Unique had Game 2. Unique played great. And Pommy is going to... But Pommy's going to take the series right here. Looks like Unique's going in for the bitter end. And Palmy handpicked this map, and you have to wonder if the placement of this pylon and the warping in of units in this area was his plan right from the first second of the game starting. I'll bet it was. So we got 21, 21 stalkers, one sentry, and three zealots versus not much. A couple spine crawlers going down now. 28 lings on the way, Roach Warren be being rebuilt. Oy. Looks like this base is over. And you know what? I don't see any new probes. I don't see any new tech by Protoss. Basically, Palmy put is. everything into this push. GG is called. Unique does not take the win, but Palmy does. And a well played gets thrown out as well as a smiley face. A round of applause for the good manners by, uh, by our Zerg player. But we do see a Protoss win. For the finals of the Craft Cup. Understand. The answers you seek lie within. Study it well. The fate of creation hangs in the balance. So there it is. There you guys have it. Rocks kiss Pommy. The new the victor of the EU Craft Cup number twenty-six. 36. 36. Thanks for joining us.